Hello and welcome to this video on how to break external links in Excel when the break links button is not working. So I have this Excel file and when I open the file in Excel, I am met by this message that there are external links and that they cannot be updated. Now, this is a frustrating message for Excel users. Maybe this link is important and it needs to be fixed and updated, but also maybe it is no longer required. It is often the case that Excel users accidentally create these unnecessary external links by writing formulas and conditional formatting rules, chart links, and then over time, as we copy sheets and create new versions of files, these unnecessary external links get created. So ideally, we want to break those links and turn them into static values. Now, to do that, I could press the Edit Links button in this message right now. But if I close that message, the way that we would get to that window without the message is we would click on data at the top on the ribbon and there's the button to edit links. If I click on that button, I can see that there is this external link to an Excel file called work plan. The status is unknown, but it is no surprise that when I click the check status button, it returns an error saying that the source was not found. This is not a surprise because we got this message on opening the file. What is a surprise maybe is that when I click on break link and it says that breaking links will convert the formula to a static value, which is a good thing. If I don't need this link anymore, and please check that you don't need these links, then that is what I want. I click on break links and it appears to have worked. I have no message to the contrary. So I close the window, save and close the file, and let's check this out. So if I reopen the Excel workbook and enable the links, the message still occurs. But we surely just broke that link. The breaks links button cannot break external links that live within features such as data validation, conditional formatting, chart sources and defined names. So let's find where these links are in this workbook. Now to help me here, if I clicked on file and then came down to info, this is an area which really helps in regards to uh, security, accessibility, and compatibility within Excel. And already I can see various references to these external links. I've got one of them in the inspect workbook area, and I've got another one down in related documents. Now, if I click on check for issues and then check compatibility, the compatibility checker will bring up some various issues that it finds. And if I resize this window, I can see it mentioned that there's cells in this workbook that contain validation, which are referring to values in other sheets. So this area of Excel can be helpful when we're trying to find these unnecessary links. Let me close down that window. And another area that's very helpful is on the Home tab. If I went to the Find and Select button, because in here, I can get some assistance in finding formulas, conditional formatting, and data validation. Now, formulas shouldn't be a problem. The Break Links button will generally break formulas. It's the formulas that are within conditional formatting and data validation rules. They are the problem. And if I click on Data Validation, it highlights that I've got various validation on this sheet that I may not have been aware of when I'm inheriting this from colleagues or copying sheets unaware of the problem that I might be creating. 
Now that I'm aware of that and those cells are selected, if I clicked on data and data validation, I can now see a link to a named range equals places. Now it doesn't appear that this validation is something that I want. So I can happily remove this from the source and click OK. And that would break that validation rule and allow me to break links. Instead though, let's cancel that because we know it's a named range now called places. So if I came up to formulas and then into name manager, I can now see that there's two of them. There is one called jobs and one called places. And these are linking to an external workbook. You can see a link to an L drive there. I've blurred out some of the rest of it uh, to hide the details about this workbook that's been shared with me. But these are what we want to remove. So if I delete this named range and confirm that, delete the next one and confirm it, close down this window. So I'm going to save this, close the workbook. Reopen the workbook, and as it opens, it now opens absolutely fine, no mention of these links again. So the break links button in the edit links window did not work. This is primarily to do with data validation rules and conditional formatting rules and formulas within named ranges. And if we hunt them down and remove them from the required features, that will deal with the problem. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel to receive the latest videos and I'll see you again soon.